Hey man, are you an audio engineer or thinking about becoming an audio engineer? It's important that you know all of the critical skills that are needed to be successful as an audio engineer. How can you book more jobs and get more clients? This video is going to help you to know which skills are critical to succeeding as an audio engineer so that you can decide whether this profession is for you. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. You already know that this channel is to help you record and mix better and faster. Today, I'm going to be presenting you with 10 skills that every audio engineer must master. Some of them are pretty obvious, but some of them on this list you probably wouldn't think of as an audio engineer. So let's go ahead and drop right down to the list. Number one on my list of the must have skills is going to be communication. I know that's one of those obvious ones. Well, at least I hope that is one of those obvious ones. Communication is so important to being an audio engineer. So so much time is going to be spent collaborating with others. If you're an audio engineer, you're going to be working for a client, an artist, there will be producers. Knowing how to properly communicate your ideas and then also listen to the ideas of other people while imparting those on the project is going to be crucial to people wanting to work with you. Therefore, this is going to allow you to book more clients and also retain the clients that you already have. So communication is top on my list. I just can't express enough how much being able to really get your thoughts out and being able to listen to other people is going to help you tremendously. So make sure that you're in a communicative spirit. Make sure that you're open and willing to work and collaborate with others. Communication is the skill number one. The second skill on my list that you must master is going to be adaptability. Now things are always changing for audio engineers. There's new software coming out, new plugins. Somebody might come in the room with a whole new idea after you've been tweaking this mix for hours. Well, being able to quickly change course and adapt a new method of doing things, a new workflow, a new sound is going to help your long longevity in this career as an audio engineer. You can't get stuck in your rut and still try to record to 24 inch uh, to a, a two inch tape like you were in the 70s. You have to adapt from that old school way to the new school way. And there's always going to be a newer, better, faster way to do things. So as an audio engineer, make sure that you first remain a student forever. Always be learning something. Always be studying. Always be growing your skill sets and also be open to all of the new technology, the changes, the input and uh, opinions of others so that you can quickly adapt and fit the needs of the situation. Number three on my list of these must master skills is going to be critical listening. Hmm. Now that don't mean that you mix in and type in a text at the same time. That don't mean that you mix in and scroll in the gram. That means that you're actually spending focused time listening critically, listening to the details and also learning what it is that you're hearing while you are critically listening. So being able to identify different frequency ranges by just hearing them and knowing where that falls on the EQ, like what frequency is this tone I'm playing or, you know, what frequency does the um, A flat resonate? that right knowing those type of things will help you during the mix it will help you during your recording process so that you learn how to actually focus so much more on listening now a lot of us um, most people by human nature our ears and what we hear is secondary to what we see but as audio engineers we pretty much need to program our hearing to be able to visualize everything that we hear so Critical listening skills is a must. There are tons of different um, uh, resources online to help you develop a critical listening ear, knowing how to identify uh, what instruments are playing. You know, I know a lot of engineers, you know, or aspiring engineers who don't know the difference between a kick drum, a snare drum, and a hi hat or a tom, right? Knowing how to identify those things by listening critically and also knowing those parts of these instruments will help you again in the studio in as your career grows as an audio engineer. Next up on my list after critical listening is going to be music theory. Now, I feel like you might not need to master music theory, but you need to have a really great understanding of what music theory is. You need to understand what a scale is. You need to understand what makes a minor scale versus what makes a, ma uh, a major scale. Uh, what's a fifth, right? What's a harmony? 
understanding these certain things, what's an octave, right? Understanding these components of music theory will help you to make better music musical choices as you are recording or mixing like trust me you'll be able to speak the language that the artist is speaking you will be able to make musical decisions while you're mixing music theory is so critical even if it comes down to something that's just knowing how to find the key whenever you're applying auto-tune to a rap vocal right music theory pays plays a part in that so have a great strong understanding of music theory it really helps if you pick up an instrument even if you don't play an instrument right now as you're growing as an audio engineer maybe start to also learn some instrument doesn't matter what instrument it is pick up an instrument and learn it at the same time as you are learning audio engineering and it's going to help you exponentially the next skill for an audio engineer to master is going to be organization and time management yes file organization is super important being organized in your studio with your cables your microphones uh your gear your mic stands all of that stuff is very important for one because for one organizing is gonna save you from losing stuff is gonna save you time and that falls right into time management as well most of the time as an audio engineer, you'll be getting paid by the hour or you're getting paid by the project. Either way, if you're getting paid to get something done, the more organized you are, the more efficient you can be. So that even goes into our sessions, being organized in our DAWs, labeling the tracks that we're working on, color coding those tracks, rearranging them, making sure that our file saving and file management structure is good. <laughs> and we'll get to that in a second, but actually that's my next tip <laughs> so besides organizing and time management the next one is going to be file management ultimately everything that we're doing nowadays is going to be digital so we're saving digital files and making sure that you're able to recall those files save them to where they're safe and um, get them access them when you need them is going to be crucial to your success imagine telling the client that's just spent hours working with you that you lost their session or you can't find their audio files right? That's not going to leave a great taste in their mouth. They're probably going to fire you. They're probably going to not want to hire you again. So having great file management and redundant systems is a way to do that. So basically here's a little tip on file management. One of the first things that I would do is make a new folder for every client that I work with. Now you can save this to your computer, external hard drive, but inside like maybe the documents folder, maybe start off with a top level folder, call that folder, recording sessions inside of that folder make a new folder with the name of the artist inside of that artist folder make a new folder for the song that you're going to be working on and then every song that you work with that artist on keep putting it back in that same folder super key super crucial to managing your files um yeah you just can't go wrong and you it can't afford to go wrong man those files are everything so make sure that you also back them up have a redundant copy i'd recommend in this case to actually about once a month have another hard drive where you just duplicate everything from the working drive onto another storage drive just in case you have a failure somewhere or something gets damaged you will be able to recover the files that are important. One of the next top skills that the audio engineers must learn is gonna be room acoustics. Knowing how to walk into a room and do a clap test or listen even to what does it sound like in this room? Which area in the room is gonna give me the best sound? Where do I need to add acoustic treatment and absorption and diffusion in order to uh, get rid of any problems that I may have in my listening environment or my recording environment? So you can spend some time learning about room acoustics, learning about how sound reacts in rooms, and it will help you to make better recordings. It'll help your mixes to translate in more places, and it will make you a better audio engineer. Next up on my list, and this is pretty far down because I think this is getting down to the stuff that's like important, but those other skills, probably more softer skills at the top of the list, I think they are so important and they're often overlooked because we all love getting into the technical side of things. So instead of being technical, technical all the time, which is important, having those soft skills like communication, uh, file management and things like that are really going to set you apart from other engineers who also have the technical experience that you may have. You must master your DAW. Master your digital audio workstation. 
This way you can work more efficiently, you can work faster, you can get tasks done, and it ultimately becomes a tool that you use without having to think about it. Having the mastery over your DAW by like, let's say getting signed up and certified with my Pro 2 certification course allows you to remove the barriers between you and creativity. A DAW is simply a tool, and the better that you know how to use that tool, the better you can start creating and stop thinking about that tool. I literally sit in front of Pro Tools and the Pro Tools disappears because all I see is the music that I'm working on. I'm no longer thinking about uh, how do I set up sins or how do I route EQs or none of that stuff, right? It becomes second nature when you take the time to master your tools, master your DAW. And the last thing on my list here, probably in order of importance, is gonna be mixing techniques, yeah. Mixing techniques are important. Knowing how to use an EQ, knowing how to use a compressor, knowing how to set up a reverb sand, knowing how to do parallel compression. All that stuff is fine and dandy, but without all of the other skills that I've mentioned on this list, you probably won't get the chance to show that you have those mixing skills. So let's run them down again. Communication, yeah. Make sure you're talking to people in the studio and make sure you're also able to listen. Adaptability. There's gonna be changes. Things are not always gonna be as they are. You can bet on that. Make sure you're ready for that and prepared. Next, critical listening. Having the skill to identify what you're hearing and focus in on what you're hearing is gonna be crucial to getting that project done. Music theory. Knowing how to apply musical techniques to your technical work <laughs> that's just a, a no-brainer, really. Learn some music theory. Organization, time management, for sure. You, you gotta be organized to get the job done. After that, we're gonna go with file management. Yeah, saving those files is super crucial. Yes, you probably wanna also give a copy of those files to your client so that they can have it too, but make sure that your stuff is neatly organized and quickly able to be recalled. Room acoustics. Room acoustics, super important to know how to tell if a recording environment is gonna be good recording environment or is it gonna be a bad recording environment? Is it too live? Is it too dead? What do we need to do to fix those situations? Learning about room acoustics is super crucial. Daw, learn your daw, right? DAW is super important. The more that you know about the tool that you are using, the easier it will be for you to work and have this seamless workflow. And next and last, what's gonna be mixing tech techniques, all right? So mixing techniques, yes, super important. Learn how to compress, learn how to EQ, but again, all of the stuff mentioned above is gonna be way more uh, important. So a bonus one that I'm gonna add on here is gonna be hardware management, okay? So in addition to everything else, knowing how to manage your hardware is a skill. Knowing how to manage your microphones, your cables, your, um, your mic stands, all of that stuff, your, your computer, right? Having computer skills. Maybe you need to actually uh, swap out a memory or, or add more um, storage to a computer or route uh, a, a TRS to an XLR or do a soldering to repair a cable. So hardware management is also a dope skill for a mix engineer or audio engineer of any type to have. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. I hope this list has been helpful for you. I know it's been helpful for me in honing my skills and that these are some of the critical skills that I think every audio engineer must have. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. What skills do you think are important? What skills are you lacking? Let's be honest with ourselves for a minute. Drop down in the comment, tell me where you lacking that and let's work on that. Be dope.